Hey, I'm playing Folk Song by the Lords of Liechtenstein. If you don't know who they are, take the link in the video description. You will not be disappointed. I'm playing straight from the charts of the Morristown Uke Jam, so take another link in the video description, download the free ukulele song sheet, and you can play along with me. And if you'll be near Morristown, New Jersey, come out and play with us. After the song, we'll do a basic tutorial together with a slow motion close-up play along that you might find helpful. Here goes. <laughs> On. I love that. Okay, the uh, the only tricky thing about this, really, uh, is the strum. If you aren't good at chucking, you'll get good at chucking practicing this song. And that's not a bad thing. Really, chucking is, I'm just going to form a G chord. It's when you go like this in the middle of the song while you're strumming. I'm... Right? That's chucking. What am I doing? I'm using all my fingernails. I got fingernails, yeah, but you don't need fingernails to chuck. It's just easier if you have them putting all my fingernails across and actually hitting the fretboard or the strings with the palm of my hand at pretty much the same time so that you don't hear the sound coming. You can practice like that. And then once you're, once you're okay with that, here is the strum. Now this is, if you're not good at chucking, down, down, up. Recognize that? Yeah, it's like the most popular strum in the world. Down, down, up, up, down, up. But what I'm doing is down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, yes. Down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. And fast. If you're a strict, you know, uh, stark raving beginner, you can just do down, down, up, up, down, up. If you want to learn chucking, this is a good song to learn it on. It really is, because it's got it throughout the song. The only time I didn't chuck is in the final chorus. In the final chorus, 
Noah stops playing ukulele, Dan keeps playing guitar, and they, uh, and they have a, a gentle version. I mean, Dan's still doing some, some sort of chucking, but it, it doesn't, it's not as severe, it's, it's gentler, uh, that last verse, so that, or the last chorus. So the last chorus, I let up on the chucking, and it sounded softer to me to do that. Okay, the other thing I, I sort of altered, the other thing I changed, um, I have higher versions of the chords. I mean, the, the standard thing, you know, the standard chorus, G, D, A, B minor, right? Well, what did I do? Second half of the bridge and, actually, it's the same, same chords for the, the second half of the bridge. It's the same as the chorus, G, D, A, B minor. Except what did I do? I, I had a higher version, I used a G fifth. Uh, all I'm doing is, is higher, um, a higher A string, basically. Instead of G, I did G fifth. Instead of D, I did a second position D. Instead of A, I did a second position A, right? Instead of B minor, I stuck my pinky down, that's it. it sounded like I was getting more excited. Lords of Liechtenstein have 14 strings. I only have four. They have more than three times as many as me. So I figured, you know, I can put more energy into it by, by playing that way. Also, when I, I, I did the choruses uh, with, you know, sort of more energy, I made sure I was playing with all four of my fingers when I strummed. Whoops. It just sounds a fuller, it sounds like a fuller sound than if you use your, your one finger, right? Here's one finger. Here's all four. There's more sound. It's not just more volume. It it has more fullness because you're not hitting all the strings at the same time or you're hitting them a couple times as you go down like that. Um, that's pretty much it. Okay, I think I'm going to go through uh, the intro, just verse 1. Now I'm going to go through verse 1 and verse 2 because the, the last line in verse 2 is a little different too. Also, actually, uh, verse... Two, three, and the bridge. Um, the the last line is might be a little quick for some of you. G, B minor, D, A. Like then I'll guide you home. That's how I'm changing it, right? G, B minor, D, A. And the truth is. Uh, you could leave the D out if you wanted, and it probably mo most folks wouldn't notice. Then I'll guide you home. That leaves out one of the chord changes, right? Guide you home. Uh, so if you have trouble with that, you can leave out the D. Uh, leave it that way. All right. I'm going to go slow motion through the intro, intro, first and second verses in the chorus. Uh, so you can practice the chucking, you can practice the chord translations. Like I said, it'll be slow motion, close up on my right hand. So if, uh, if that'll help you, then stick around. If not, then don't stick around. But if you like the video, please like the video. You want lots more, subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's free, of course. You want lots more free downloadable uh, ukulele song sheets, check out our meetup page, and then come out and play with us. Now here goes. Slow motion. Here goes.
When you are gone and I am alone again, I feel a stirring in my soul as if only fate could tell me when you will return. That's it. See you Wednesday. Bye.